Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada. Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada. Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Guru Day Jaya Jaya Guru Day Jaya Paramahamsa Parivraj Kataray As Dotarasat His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Prem Sikaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktivinoda Prem Sikaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya oh, I said that uh, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Go Gopinath Shamakun Radha Kund Giri Govardhana Ki Jai Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Mayapur Navadweep Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Puri Purushottam Shetra Ki Jai um, Ganga Mai Ki Jai Chamuna Mai Ki Jai Samaveta Bhakta Rinda Ki Jai All glorious the assembled devotees All glorious the assembled devotees All glorious the assembled devotees And all glorious to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chai Vanarotamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tatojaya Mudirayat 
Nasta praisu abhadre su Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamashloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki uh, Today we're reading from um, Canto 3, Chapter 20, Text 11 Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Viduro Vacha Prajapati Patishristva Prajasaje Prajapatin Kimarabata me Brahma Prabhu he Vyaktamagavit Viduro Vacha Prajapati Patishristva Prajasaji Prajapatin Kimarabata me Brahman Prabhuhye Avakta Magavit Viduravacha Prajapati Patishristva Praja Saji Prajapatin Kim Arabata me Brahman Prabhuhe of Yaktamagavit. Please repeat. Prajapati Patishisva Prajasaji Prajapatim Marabatame Brahman Bruhya Tavakma Vaishnavis Atinshri Susta Prajasa J. Prajapatin Himarabata me Brahman Prabhu Yavyatam. Any other messages? Um, translation. Also, no, no, no. Vidura Vacha Vidura said Prajapati Pati Lord Brahma Sristva 
after creating. Prajasarje, for the purpose of cre creating living beings. Prajapatim, the Prajapatis. Kim, what? Arbata, started May, to me. Brahman, O holy sage. Prabruhi, tell. Avyakta Margavit, the knower of that which we do not know. Translation, Vidura said, since you know of matters inconceivable to us, tell me, O holy sage, what did Brahma do to create the living beings after evolving the Prajapatis, the progenitors of the living beings? Purport by his divine grace. Significant here is the word avyakta margavit, one who knows that which is beyond our perception. To know matters beyond one's perception, one has to learn from a superior authority in the line of disciplic succession. Just to know who is our father is beyond our perception. For that, the mother is the authority. Similarly, we have to understand everything beyond our perception from the authority who actually knows. The first Avyakta Margavit, or authority, is Lord Brahma. And the next authority in this disciplic succession is Narada. Maitre Rishi belongs to that disciplic succession. He is also an Avyakta Margavit. Anyone in the bona fide line of disciplic succession is a Vyakta Margavit, a personality who knows that which is beyond ordinary perception. Translation again. Vidura said, since you know of matters inconceivable to us, tell me, O holy sage, what did Brahma do to create the living beings after evolving the Prajapatis, the progenitors of living beings? Oma gena timrandasya gananjana shalakaya shakshun militam jena tasmai shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobishtam stapitam yena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam dadati svapadantikam vandeham shri guru shri yuta parakamalam Shri Gurum Vaishnavam Sha, Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana, Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana, Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita, Shri Vishakam Vitam Sha, He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinapandu Jagatpate, Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namosate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Sirate Vrindavaneshwari Prishavanu Suti Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpa Trubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Adveta Gadadha, Shri Vasari Gaurabhata Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, thank you to Swavas for giving me the opportunity to speak today, and Archita is, is not here. Um, so in this beautiful Bhagavatam, we, um, with Maitreya and Vidura, and Vidura here has finally renounced, left the um, inauspicious association which he was undergoing with the Kurus, and um, he's now receiving his 
benediction by speaking to Maitreya. He was very much um, a saintly person, but he was he was in he was karmically caught up within politics and uh, scandals of a terrible degree involving saintly persons and and very demoniac attitudes and he was actually in a very unfortunate position of being powerless due to having been born of a, of a Sudrani and therefore having no um, in the eyes of the materialist having no platform from which to speak and therefore his uh, great advice which he always gave to try to avert the battle of Kurukshetra to, was fell on the deaf ears of, of Dhritarashtra who was so enamored with his demoniac son and uh, completely not only blind physically but blind spiritually and materially and so he out of his doting nature he could not hear the words the w words of wisdom of Vidura as he gave very good instruction to make everything work nicely according to according to Dharma so they took the path of Adama and therefore there was a big war so um, so Vidura has met Maitreya by his good fortune and uh, he already met Uddhava so he's really getting good association and um, he is what he's one of the Avyakta Margavit or those who know that which is beyond our comprehension and um, Prabhupada talks about the authority of the Vedas and we understand how the Parampara is the um, systematic deliverance of the ripened fruit of Vedic knowledge very carefully transferred by a non-altering of the words of Krishna originally Parampara, our Parampara starts with Krishna going to Lord Brahma from Brahma to Narada, Narada Vyas and like that it descends and then we get um, the ones we're more familiar with Madhavendra Puri, Ishvara Puri, um, Lord Chaitanya, um, Six Goswamis, Narasim Das, Thakur and um, then we come down we get Jagannath Das Babaji Back to you know, Thakur, Guru Kishore Das Babaji, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, and our Srila Prabhupada. These are the carriers of light. They carry the light of the Bhagavatam, which is the a brilliant sun, which is carried to the fallen souls who've lost their vision due to the dense darkness of this age of Kali. And Srila Prabhupada, when he went on the Jaladuta, he carried these books physically with him to bring to the West. So this is the list of the Avyakta Marga Vit devotees, or those greatly empowered carriers of light who, who, um, who we uh, speak their names in invocation to give us the Shakti to represent them properly. And... Um, the first in the line of the Parampara from Krishna, of course, is our Lord Brahma, who received the knowledge from Krishna directly into his heart. From the flute sound of Lord Krishna, it entered through his eight ear holes, because our Brahma has four heads, eight ear holes and into his heart. And he became acquainted with the ocean of truth. As such that he understood from, from the... Uh, recollection and the meditation and the tapasya remembering these uh, instructions of Krishna that he came to the conclusion that he's a maidservant of Krishna and um, also from all the knowledge that was combined the Gayatri Mantra is the encompassing of the total sum of Vedic knowledge in these prayers and so by the chanting of the Gayatri Mantra he, uh, the understanding of the three Vedas, he was able to 
understand and say that it is shodashakam nam nam kali kama sanashanam nataha parataro veda savavis I'm not sure exactly I forgot it because I'm nervous um, but um, that beautiful shloka where he says that these 16 syllables of the Maha Mantra I'm speaking Lord Brahma, he's saying, I'm Brahma, I'm knower of the Vedas, I've studied everything, I know everything, but I'm saying that from all these things that, I've, that I know about, I have understood that of that the topmost important thing is these 16 syllables, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Rama Hare Hare, and these contain the uh, the, pow the power to purify us and to enlighten us and to um, change the course of events in the uh, way that the world is going. So um, the carriers of light carry the same message, the message of Bhagavatam and Lord Chaitanya when he spoke to Sanatana Goswami he also condensed it into those beautiful verses, which I'm sure all of you know. Um, Jivera Swarupa Hoy Krishna Ranitidas, Krishna Tatasta Shakti, Beda Beda Prakash, Surya Amsa Kirana, Yachi Agni Jwala Chaya, Swabhavika Krishna Tina Prakash Shakti Hoy. That the living entity is a eternal servant of Krishna part and parcel of Krishna, non-different from Krishna, with the same, all the same powers as Krishna, but in a very, very minute quantity. And uh, therefore, the, the living uh, entity always has to take shelter of the Supreme Lord, because that's his source of energy. The, the living entity becomes empowered by taking shelter of the Supreme Lord and when he forgets that then he gets lost into the big ocean of Maya which is there exactly where Krishna finishes the shadow potency Durga the ocean of samsara is there just to pull us in every direction imaginable so Lord Chaitanya he said that um, on my order I instruct all of you once we've practice, assimilate, digest this knowledge, then we should share this knowledge. Jari Deke Tahe Kaha Krishna Upadesh Amara Agnaya Guru. This is my instruction to you that you must distribute this knowledge. And um, that's really, that's, uh, that's our thing. We're in a very unique time. It's a, it's a very special time. On one hand, it's so dark, and on one, t one side, there's so much amazing things that we can take advantage of. Like, I was thinking when I was doing the class how, you know, like when I want to find a shloka, instead of having to go to the library or find the book and remember which canto and look it up, simply I type in the first words of the shloka into my phone and ding! There it is. There's the shloka with the Sanskrit, with the word for word, with the purport, with the translation. And um, that's, that's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. I mean, it's amazing. On top of that, I mean, I remember when I was a child, you, you, uh, not a child, but when I was trying to find out what it was that was very noticeably missing in my life. You know, I, I come from a reasonably uh, affluent background. Everything was okay materially. I mean, nothing was really lacking, but there's like a hole that's in the heart that just doesn't get satiated, that just doesn't go away, no matter what we do. And I went to India and I was searching and searching and I had a big stack of books and, you know, all the books had something of interest in them. There's no doubt, you know, all these books books from India, very interesting, very helpful, but it wasn't till I got Prabhupada's book. You know, it's very black and white and it's very clear and it tells you exactly what to do, exactly what not to do. And um, 
and that's just available now it's even available on the internet it's it's totally amazing plus we have all this transportation at this time like we can go to india i went to india when i was just 20 something i mean it's amazing i went to india i didn't have to walk through deserts and you know worry about dacoits i just got on an airplane and jump 10 hours later there i was in india you know it's amazing there's paper there's presses to distribute the books so it's such a unique time but at the same time it's such a dark time you know industrialized slaughter and um, industrialized agriculture terrible quality of food air uh, environment you know terrible quality nothing sattvic outside of the temple it's nothing sattvic and so um, we you know, our job is to disseminate this knowledge and recreate that sattvic uh, facility where devotees, where devotees and people who are becoming devotees um, can thrive and flourish. We all need the sattvic facilities. It's very important. As soon as we go back out there, we're just like the lost spark from the fire. That just gets extinguished. So association of devotees, expanding of facilities. And Krishna's pastimes are just like the rainfall that fall upon the grasses. The grasses are just like the grains, I mean the grains that are just fallen on the ground. When the rains of Krishna's pastimes come, then they nourish the grains and the grains start to sprout and grow. Krishna is so beautiful that he's described to be like a blackish rain cloud. And he showers these rains of his pastimes upon the living entities. And uh, his peacock feather is described to be like a, a uh, rainbow in the sky. And around his neck is a, um, a chain of white swans or herons that are fl flying. And his, his dress is vibrant yellow like flashing lightning in the sky. And he's distributing the rains of his pastimes to enliven the devotees, to wake us up, to, um, to inspire us and to um, re give us plenty to think about, about Krishna and to reestablish the principles of Dharma here on planet Earth and to protect the Earth in that way and to make it, make the earth, the earth planet is such an important planet in, the, in, the, this, in this universe because it is like the launching pad for the Atma to uh, go back to spiritual world. And so the fact that the, the earth planet has fallen into the hands of the demoniac and has become exploited and destroyed and so many living entities are suffering terribly I just saw the other day about salmon farming, you know, and how the, the poor salmon, they keep them in kind of, you know, salmon, they, they travel extensively and they go up the river to breed in the same place and they're keeping them in kind of net compounds and they just go round and round in circles swimming in their own stool and, and they're covered in lice, you know, like sea lice. It's eating their skin, and, and that's this, this, the way it is for so many living entities in this time. You know, the trees are all being killed in the forests, and the rivers are all being filled with pollution, and the animals are being hunted to extinction or or slaughtered to extinction. And human beings were actually strangling ourselves because without a good environment, we don't stand a chance either. We will annihilate ourselves, and we need that sattvic beauty we need the the singing of birds the bees watching the flowers grow we need all that for our our under our our so we live within krishna so um we always pray to have the vaikuntha mood and to expand the influence of iskon i saw the other day um very interesting um a short video President Modi in India and he was glorifying Srila Prabhupada like anything. He was saying our Srila Prabhupada, he has, uh, he has brought the, 
the um, culture of Bharat all over the world. And he's made so many devotees and they're doing so many welfare programs for the upliftment and the education of people on this planet. And uh, when, when, can you imagine when someone like Modi starts to say that? He has such an influence, how that's going to affect our movement and how wonderful that will, can be. And um, so uh, we must always pray, all of us, to protect this movement. We have to always keep our eyes open for, you know, pedophiles because we need, our children need to grow up protected. They need to grow up loving Krishna. They need to uh, grow up safe with a relaxed mind so they can just uh, absorb the wonderful culture and want to be a part of this movement. So we have to keep our eyes very open, just like policemen are always looking for thieves. So we need to keep our eyes open and protect the property of Srila Prabhupada that he gave us. You know, it's not a, a small thing to have a, a big temple like this or all the temples that we have in the world. It's not a small thing. That's huge sacrifice of many, many devotees and, and Srila Prabhupada in his old age. And um, we also pray, pray for the ability to be able to fully practice everything that Srila Prabhupada has taught us. Not that we partially practice, that we, we fully practice that. And um, uh, Srila Prabhupada didn't like waste. Srila Prabhupada didn't like waste in any form. He didn't like waste of electricity, water, food. And he didn't like noise either. <laughs> so, you know, please bear that in mind with the cushions. Um, um, what else did I want to say? Oh, the time's up. That's amazing. I think I actually did it in time. <laughs> um, okay. Any questions, uh, criticisms, or um, instructions? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, I just saw it the other day. I can send it to you, actually. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was very nice, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think that's the Kali Kalmasan uh, Santarani Upanishad. Anyone else? Okay, thank you, Hare Krishna, and have a wonderful day in Blessed Krishna Consciousness. Haribo.